Something we preach here at Tier 1 Trading is treat your trading like a business, meaning that if you want to be a consistently profitable trader, you need to have a strict set of rules, something that is testable, verifiable, and repeatable. You need to test those rules to ensure that they have an edge. You can actually make profit from the market, and then you need the ability to consistently follow those rules, right? One of the reasons we see so many traders struggle isn't because they're not skilled enough. Rather, it's the inability to consistently follow those rules. Think about it like a professional athlete, right? your top class athletes they are great they are skilled but most importantly they come in day in and day out and give high levels of performance your mediocre athletes yeah they show signs of greatness but they don't do it day in and day out and that's why they stay middle of the pack just like many traders stay middle of the pack if you guys remember that pyramid i've talked about in the past the mark douglas pyramid of traders where you have your your 10 percent at the top your kind of 30 percent boomer busters in the middle that's where most traders lie. So in today's video, I want to share with you a short lesson that we did in my live trading room today where we were analyzing a chart pattern, one that could have multiple rules for entry. And we spoke about how, hey, if you're a trader that hasn't defined what way you want to approach this classic pattern, you can give yourself the ability to do whatever you want, which sounds like a great thing, but it's also something that could be very destructive because, well, there's no consistency if you're bouncing around each time. Not gonna be the sexiest looking head and shoulders in the world, but they're not all pretty. But we've got a left shoulder right here. We've got a neckline, a first neckline. I don't know what to call this, the first neck right here. A head, a slanted, a downward slanted neckline for uh, the right part and then the right shoulder here. And we called it the Cody special um, because Cody has a special way of trading this aggressively, right? Typically we're looking for validation in the pattern um, with the violation of either of neckline, whether it's a slanted neckline like that, which is gonna make life very, very hard for you. If you are someone that's using a trend line as your neckline, um, or if you're using a horizontal neckline, it's gonna be right here. Now. This is a, brings up another good lesson, right? About how traders will often do what they want to do, right? So I always say when you're trading head and shoulders, you wanna have a rule of how you're going to identify the neckline. Are you gonna be uh, slanted support and resistance, meaning like a trend line, like the blue, or are you gonna be horizontal like the white? And I think you need to be set in the stone with which with which one you choose we'll see this a lot from traders where again because no one's watching over your shoulder because you are your own boss traders will often do what they want and they will see something like this and be like wait a kill so i can't trade this is not a valid pattern until this blue trend line is violated I'm like, oh yeah that's what your rules say okay well this time i'm just going to use the white one should we be doing that guys should we be bouncing back and forth based off what we want to do? No, right? We need to stick to our rules. Understand the pros and cons of your rules before you ever get into it, but you can't just do whatever you want. You have rules for a reason. They are ultimately to keep you out of trouble, but sometimes they're also gonna keep you out of trades. So it's, you know, you just deal with it, but you can't just give yourself that much freedom because then that's gonna, there's gonna be no consistency in your trading. And like we always talk about, Consistent analysis plus consistent execution equals consistent results. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, leave it below or any topics you want me to cover, leave that below as well. Make sure you check out the Trading Coach Podcast. Got some really cool subjects coming out. One talking about negative risk reward. Another one talking about the best book on technical analysis. And also the good news. Remember that November workshop I've been telling you about, right? Well, it was sold out, but since we've been getting... Um, Harassed? I don't know if that's the right word. Uh, we decided to open up more spots and allow more people to join. We're, we're still going to cap it at a certain amount, but we're going to get a little bit more in just because of the demand. So head over to www.tier1trading.com. I'll put a link underneath this video as well. Sign up and reserve your seat now or else you're going to be left outside. All right. Take care. I want to be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain. Assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on this display. Is